I genuinely had proper depression, like suicidal back then. It didn't for a long time, for like for like a year because Due of that breakup. Break, yeah. yeah, all because of the, like that breakup and stuff. Um, so I just literally set two goals, which was start a business again, the best shape of my life back then. So I spoke to Lewis Harrison um, to make me a plan. So he coached me, joined the gym. Um, and then literally my other uh, goal was start a business. And that's when I started doing the business plans, going to the bank on my own at 19, talking to them about businessy, yeah. <laughs> like doing all this stuff and go, go and I'd go to Vodafone, work nine to five, go to the gym till six. And I'd go home and I'd work from six till two in the morning every day on repeat. And I loved it. And it didn't feel like work. I was just like, like that. I found something where, you know, I pretty much replaced my girlfriend with the business sort of thing. So I was like, okay, this is where I'm going to put all my energy and focus on. No one can take it away from me. This is mine sort of thing. Like, yeah. and it was just like that sort of thing to yeah, like yeah, fix yeah. myself. Yeah. So I did, so I did that. And yeah, it's just um, used all that drive basically just to really do the That's business. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like a natural thing to do. I know yeah. so many people who, who have gone through that sort of situation where yeah. they've broken up, not necessarily started a business, but they've got new jobs or they've got, new things going on in their life or they're trying new things, new hobbies, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. And whereas a business is, is pretty much a lifestyle at that yeah. point because, you know, you're living it in 24-7, right? Yeah. What was the other reason why you didn't tell anyone else? Because when I was 19, I was uh, on YouTube, I was watching like, tons and tons of like Will Smith, Law of Attraction stuff because like he is so big on that subject and like the way he speaks about self-belief and all that stuff. I watched all his content and he just says, just don't tell anyone, you don't need to tell anyone because... I was so wrapped in my own mind and my head with all this like universe stuff and law of attraction stuff and self-belief and believing that anything's possible sort of thing, mm. which is everything he teaches. And it generally almost changed my mindset. Com absolutely completely. I think if I didn't watch his videos, I don't think heroin even exists because I wouldn't have had the self-belief in myself that it, it actually is possible to do something because the things he was saying, like, it's just like, he uses examples of like, you know, tens of like hundreds of years ago, like it was unrealistic for someone to walk into a room and switch up switch on and light bulb would come on so like yeah if you think of really complex things like okay right you need to build a massive building like or build a plane to go over the world or whatever yeah if you think how difficult that is and then you think oh, i want to start a clothing brand which has already been done by loads of people yeah it's not it's, it's not, possible yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, nothing's impossible then, nothing's is it? impossible so like if yeah. you believe like nothing's po impossible then it is possible sort of thing yeah so yeah it was it was all that stuff listen to all this stuff conor mcgregor jim carrey all that stuff they all speak about the same yeah. thing like law of attraction and all that stuff so i fully believe in all that stuff and self-belief and stuff um so that's pretty much where that all that started from but then but then like how's that relate to you not telling other people so because that builds your self-belief i'm 100 percent with that because I, other page. people don't think how you think because okay. like there's no point in telling someone your goals and dreams when yeah. they've never one they've never done it themselves two they're not on that level of consciousness anyway yeah so it's just like i'm not gonna and people speak to other people to get um what's the word to get like clarification that their idea is good yeah. and why would you do that like it's the most pointless thing like you need to just do it for yourself yeah, and then for sure. no one believes you anyway and there's again will smith did a really really good interview on stage when like this white jacket sort of thing if you want to watch that where he just says like no one believes no, like you don't know who you are so, and nobody knows who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, until you go and do it for yourself, people will think you're crazy anyway. Yeah. It's not until you start getting your sales and you start to actually do it. Like when my friends and family, when they found out I was doing all this brand stuff with Heron at launch with Gaz, my phone blew up. It's like, what the fuck? Like, where'd this come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not until you <laughs> do it and like they see it. Yeah. It's like, that's the best possible way to show them. It's like, once it's done, not you're going to do it sort of thing. Yeah, no, I get that. That's the same sort of thing. So you, you see with me and I've got like big podcasts coming on, right? Yeah. I don't tell anyone, not even the people who are, I tell like a couple of people who are part of the CEO cast team, no one else outside of that. And the reason for that is, is I just feel like every single person, I used to tell anyone who I'm doing a podcast, if yeah. Yeah, I've got a podcast with freaking Richard Branson coming on, yeah. never ever happens. Yeah. You know, uh, it's almost like it's jinxed. So yeah. I, from that point onwards, you know, when I done Tate, I never told anyone. Yeah. And I've got another big one coming up soon, hopefully. And I just won't tell anyone who it is. And everyone's yeah. asking me like, yo, like, when's the next pod big yeah. podcast? I'm just like, I don't know when the next big podcast yeah, yeah. is. You know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I might have to fly out for it. I don't know. But yeah, man. It's, it's one of them ones where, for me, it's not so much of other people having doubt in me. It's just, I just feel like it just messes up with the whole flow of things. Yeah. And you don't want to be infected by other people's negative yeah. because like it just distracts from your own mind. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just focus on yourself and follow people. Even when I started the podcast, I didn't tell no one. Yeah. You know, they all found out naturally because they, yeah. they were on YouTube one day and they saw a recommendation from CEO cast. Yeah. I remember my mate was in the car with me and he was like, what the f 
Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, yeah, put that away right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, no, it's crazy, man. So back to Hero. What all happened after that? You know, you say you've done a million in the first year. Yeah. 